All right, Cyber Traders, welcome back on this lovely Thursday. Looks like we had a nice little runner in the EVK. What a nice little run we had right there going on that stock. Beautiful, beautiful run on that. Gorgeous. How did everybody do on it? It wasn't even just this one. Let me just change the slot. Let me just make this a little bit better of a screen so you guys can see it a little bit better. But yeah, that EVK, oh my God, four to, to, to 650. What was the other one uh, that made that big move? Even the Liz right now, that one. Uh, also made a really, really nice pop. Uh, let me see what I have going on over here. Yeah, we had the we had the uh, the Liz stock that moved, the EVK. EVK was just phenomenal. Uh, let me just put this in the chat room so you guys could see it. So these were the morning watch picks. And for everyone here on YouTube and Facebook Live, uh, just to let you know, I'm just going to post that up. We actually opened up our room at exactly, you know, right around, right before 8 o'clock. Uh, in the pre-market trading room, and this is what we've been trading. So it's just, um, it's just made you money. Like I said, isn't it great to just call it a day right now? I, I know I say it every morning, but it really is. The, it is a great experience. And you know what? I made a comment um, this morning. Also, I want to add in that. Remember what the whole motto here in Cybertrain University is: you know, uh, buy less and trade more. Okay, if you're finding that you're not trading, that means that you're during the highlights, you're trading too many shares. Just buy one stinking share, one share. And people start asking me a stupid question. They're like, why would I buy one share? Because you know what? It's a lot better than just buying no shares. And then people are like, well, why, why don't you do demo mode? Because when you get skin in the game and you start seeing it, you'll start realizing. Remember, we, like I was talking yesterday in class, you know, because we finished up phase three. It's all, it's a point system. It's not a dollar system, okay? Don't look at the dollars. You know, when you see these people on the internet bragging how much money they make, you know what you should ask them? I don't want to know how much money you made, okay? How many points did you make on that stock? What was the point system that you made? That's how you know if you, you know, where they're at. Because did he make $10,000 on 50 shares? I mean, on, on, on a 50 cents, cause he probably is trading 50,000 shares, you know, or did he make it made $3 on, you know, to make that 10, whatever, 10,000, whatever it is, but it's very, very important there. All right. So let's go out there and let's talk about what traded yesterday and let's see what's happening. Cause there are a couple of stocks that are moving uh, and I got a good a list, a good B list, and we'll check them out. Uh, first of all, let me just bring up BlackBerry because BlackBerry, we also, we traded again yesterday and uh, had a huge run, had a nice pop early in the morning. Then it had a really nice drop, which was a great short. A lot of people did well on that. Cat B also, great winner, was one of the big winners early in the morning. Stock went from $1.80 all the way to $3.30. Uh, this was also a very good stock that we were covering in class. So if you are, you know, um, if you didn't, if you missed class yesterday here at Cybertrain University, it's in your portal page. Go out there and definitely review it. Uh, another one was, this was pretty cool. Mac, M-A-C-K. This thing ran from four to seven. I mean, look how gorgeous that thing moved. Beautiful mover. It ran all, all day. And you know what? If you missed the morning run, you could have got it in the afternoon. It wasn't a huge winner, but it was it was pretty nice. Other than that, everything else, eh. I mean, I wasn't too crazy on the afternoon yesterday. Uh, when we did class, but we did have, we did get our nice 330 run, which is what I always try to tell you. So that worked out pretty well. All right. So once again, that's what's, that's the past. Let's talk about the present. All right. So what do we got going on the A-list? We got the EVK. We'll put that one up there. Now she's still strong. She's still trading at the highs of the day. So I like it. You know, she's. This is the stock. Everybody remembers it. We did trade it not too long ago. You can see here back in October, this thing got a gap up, went to 250, ran to 650. Well, guess what? She's trading right around those highs again. You know what I mean? So she's getting pretty volatile too. Look on the right-hand side. Not that many algorithms going on, but there are a couple of iceberg orders. She's starting to make a little bit of a move right here. I want to see if she takes out this guy out here right around 650. Uh, where is it? Yeah, he's a seam right there. 18,000 shares. We see you. We see you. We know. Oh, well, here he comes to him. Let's see if he takes him out. Oh, he just got up to him and it just backed right off. It's going to test him again. It looks like he's getting hit. 
Boom. There you go. All right. That is how you follow the money. All right. Let's look at a couple other ones. L-I-Z-I. -I. We're going to keep an eye on this one, too. She's kind of flatlined. She's up about 84%. I don't know. To me, it looks like she's a buyout right now, but I see a little bit of a volatility. We see how she opens up when the market opens up. All right. But that's going to make our list. Next thing we're going to check out what's on the on the A-list. ENLV is going to go back on there. It's going to stay on there. It's got a nice little move. Decent shares. Trade about 500000 Um, Very spotty on the iceberg orders out there. You can see, you know, there's a lot of gaps over there on the, on the right-hand side. Um, she's got some support levels right here. She is a little volatile, though. Look at that. You know, from $845, she went from $12 down to $1115. That's pretty volatile. Remember what we talked about. I want to reiterate in class another thing. Because you know what? There's people here that are like, what is this class? Where is class? Listen, you want to learn. You don't want to trade. You got to learn first. Um, but in these classes, we get really detailed and explain it. Because, you know, it's not. you never count how much money you make. You always think about taking a profit. That's how you become very successful when it comes to trading. And that's what you have to look at when, you, when you're trading these stocks. Um, it's all about risk to reward. Sometimes they're too risky. You know, the, the spread's too big. And all of a sudden, you're down. Remember, the cheapest trade is buying it. The most expensive, uh, 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 I mean, uh, you know, paying the ticket charge. The most expensive part of the trade is trying to get it, okay? And that's why we were doing a couple of limit orders yesterday and so on and watching them go out there. It was pretty cool. We did a couple of limit orders, and they didn't take my orders. And you've seen it like, I don't understand. I'm saying... I'm like next online to get, and nobody wanted to buy it from me. It was pretty cool. So you definitely want to check that out if you're a gold or a platinum student. Uh, and that's what direct access is all about. So we got this one. And okay, F cell. Don't forget about F cell. F cell is moving really nicely too. She just started to pick up a little momentum right around 830. She was right around 770. She's not up a lot, but she's getting close to the highs. Um, F cell was a great swing trade for us. We killed it on F cell when we're from two to 11, you know, once again, I, you got to be careful once again, and you learn this with experience coming here every time here, every morning I talk about it. We don't like stocks that go up too fast, especially if you're trying to be more of a swing trader, because whatever comes down, comes tw down twice as fast. Now you got to be very careful of that. Now, um, stock of that was like out of the blue is Alcoa's moving. We traded that yesterday. I forgot to mention it. She's trading at the highs. Not bad. Neo this morning. So I called out Neo this morning. Neo just came in right around 830 and she just ran from 47 to 40, uh, 4760 to 4840. Starting to back off a little bit. Neo took a night, uh, took a little bit of a nasty hit right here. So Neo is not your three to four dollar stock that we traded several months ago now. So the stock is pretty volatile. It's pretty shaky. You got to be careful about that. Um, Jerry is still in Tesla. Yeah, Tesla's kicking ass. I mean, it's, it's basically almost testing the highs of the uh, the highs. I mean, the stock. I mean, literally in July, look at that. It was that two hundred dollar stock? Let me just kind of reiterate how these stocks work out. But um, when these companies, you know, make so much money. To them, it's like Google, right? You know, now they could buy anything. You know, if they want to blow money, like I think, I think he wants to, he wants to, you know, compete and wants to build a ship to bring people out of space too. Tesla, he, he could do it. He's got the money. You know, he's the second richest person in the world. All right, and he's he's my age for crying out loud. And that's what you call entrepreneurship. You know, and and let me tell you, when they get to that point, you know. Money's no object. They can blow a billion dollars to do something, and if it doesn't work out, but if it does, if you know, if they, what, what they say, there's an old saying: just throw some shit against the wall. If it sticks, you know, let's see if it sticks. If it does, it does. If it falls, it doesn't. It's an old, you know, uh, an old slogan that they used to use in the old days. And that, and but you got to have money to do that. And he does. And listen, it's working out for him. So great, great trade on that Tesla trade. Um, let me see if it keeps breaking all time highs. <laughs> It could be another thousand dollar stock. Uh, XBSF. Let's go on the B list. Now, the B list, for some of you don't know it, we saw what happened yesterday. We had a couple of stocks on the B list, they end up going on the A list. But the KBSF, not a bad mover. It's got a nice little trend, very inexpensive. We traded it uh, back in October. 
It ran from 250 to four dollars in one day. So there, there is some good volatility there. F Tech, another blast from the past. Remember that stock? We killed it on this stock. It ran from a dollar to seven dollars in about three days. She took a little bit of a hit. She's up again this morning. Go back to your journals, guys. One of the big things we always train you here at Cyber Train University is you got to do your journals and you got to learn from your journals. We talked about that yesterday. It's not about the winners. Forget about the winners. Nobody more cares about the winners. Okay. It's the losers you have to learn. It's the losers that you have to uh, uh, protect yourself. Listen, yesterday in class, I had a stock. I took a loss on it. And good thing I, I did take that. I think it was like a 10 cent loss I took on a stock. If I didn't take that loss, it dropped like 50, 60 cents like that. And that actually was a winner too. It was like a 20 cents winner. And we got stuck in a shake. Stock came down and it really wasn't a shake. It actually was a big order and good thing we got out of it. A lot of you guys saw that. And thank God we did because we got took a little bit of a hit on there. You got to know it. And the only way you know that is from experience and being part of a team here at Cybertrain University. Uh, what else I got? Just one, one last stock I want to throw on the list. SPCB. That one too. It's flatline. It's not moving. It's up 11%. 900,000 shares. You know, looks like a cheap little stock. Level one stock. All you beginners. This might be up your alley. All right. So anything else I'm missing, I did not call out. The Mara... Okay, and also the riot. I did. I did riot as a swing trade. Okay, I wish I still had my three dollars share of that stock, but I did do riot as a swing trade. I didn't do Mara, but it, they're starting to pick up a little bit. They trade side by side, so uh, they don't look right, anything exciting this morning. But you know what is exciting though? Okay, guys, keep an eye on all the airlines. I told you I was a fan. I'm a long term fan. Long term trading. Listen, you're, I don't know if you guys heard what's going on TV. They said, really, the pandemic is getting pretty bad. Where there's fear, there's fire. <laughs> I always tell them. So there's with that, we have to, unfortunately, we have to protect ourselves. But there's also uh, a market for us to kind of trade the market with certain things. You know, eventually, these things are going to come out of the water. People are going to eventually go on vacation. Look, who, who could tell me right now is dying and needs a vacation right now? Who here could say, I need a vacation? I need to get away. Anybody who needs to get away, but you can't, you can't everybody, right? Me, 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 everyone. What about you guys on YouTube, Facebook live? What do you guys think? You guys got to go on vacation. Anybody here dying to take a vacation? Don't worry. You will. And I think it's going to be a big, big drive of that too coming in. And when it does, these companies will come out with good earnings. I'm in Florida already. Juwan said <laughs> you're always on vacation, I guess. Um, all right. But anyway, let's get back to the market. Market's opening up in about 15 minutes. I want to give you some time to get ready. Go fill up your coffee. I got my new coffees right now. Look, I got all the uh, holiday cups on it. Got it at Costco. Love that store. Always max out my 25000 in that store. Um, but um, go fill up. Go hit the restrooms. Get ready to market. If you and, and before we go, everybody, don't forget, today is open house day at 12 o'clock. All right, next week, we're going to do the Cyber Expo. So if you're on YouTube, Facebook Live, click on the bottom, like us, join us. Uh, register for the upcoming event that we're going to be doing at 12 o'clock. I'm going to teach you how to, to do everything that we do here, here at Cyber Train University, and hopefully you make you part of the team, give you a little a demo of it, and then hopefully you can come and stick, stick around. Everybody here, you want it's a great excuse to get away from the computer, all right? The more and more you hear it, the better it gets. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. Happy trading. And uh, let's go make some money. See you back here at 12.